I'm going to show you how to cook your haters turkey one day before you actually need to serve it. You've taken your turkey out of the packaging. We've taken the insides out, the neck and the little baggie that comes with it. Now we have to season it before it goes in the oven. Let's get our butter ready because we're gonna need that in a moment. Let's move the turkey over. So I've got some salted butter and my favorite lemon and herb seasoning. And we're just gonna make a seasoned butter. I like putting gloves on for this part because what we're gonna do is rub it into the turkey and underneath the skin. So, gloves on. So I have my gloves on and we're going to kind of lift the skin off of the turkey ever so lightly. We don't wanna pull it all the way off just so we can get the butter underneath there. But let me take my watch off first because I don't wanna lose it in the turkey and pull a little Mr. Bean there. So let's take that off. All right, we're just gonna gently, gently put our fingers underneath and start separating it a little bit. All right, so far so good. And then once we kind of start putting butter in here as well, you'll see it'll push into the other parts of the turkey. Let's start buttering up the turkey. Just massage it gently in there. Try to get your fingers as far in as you can. This is a pretty big turkey I'm working with, so, you know, once it melts in there, it'll kind of soak into all the little crevices. And then once you have all the insides done, give it a nice rub on the outside. Like I said, get into the bottom, get into the sides where you got your wings. Give it a nice massage. Your turkey's getting a massage. Okay. My turkey is about 17, 18 pounds, so we need to cook this for four hours. That's what it is, four hours. We're gonna cook it for four hours. But what I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 400 degrees. For the first 35 to 40 minutes, I'm gonna cook it uncovered. Then I'm gonna take it out, put a cover on. I do have a cover for this pan. If you don't, simply use the tin foil tenting method to give it that coverage and cook it for the remainder of the time at 375. Ready to go? Ready to go. And even though you've timed this correctly, my recommendation is to use a meat thermometer and just make sure that that internal temperature in the turkey is at least 165 to 170 degrees. Then you are ready to go. Time to carve the turkey. We're gonna carve it just like you would be serving it right now, except we're serving this tomorrow, so there's an additional step. All of the pieces are going into a pan, and then we're gonna take all the drippings from the original pan and cover that up. But let me give you one little option. Line your pan with some raw cabbage, and then once you put the pieces in and all the drippings, put a couple more pieces of cabbage on top, Cover it in tin foil nice and tight. Keep all of that nice and moist and delicious because when we reheat it tomorrow, it is gonna be just as good, I promise. We have carved the turkey. I've put it on that bed of beautiful cabbage. Remember, save all that beautiful drippings because this is going into our pan. Gently give it a good pour. And I'm gonna save a little bit to make gravy. And remember, I said we need to put cabbage on top as well. So just give it a little cover. 
And again, the cabbage is optional. You can do this exact method just with tin foil, just with the drippings. We have the cabbage all covered up and now tin foil it nice and tight. This goes in the fridge and tomorrow after you're done making your mashed potatoes and your sweet potatoes and your beans, you can just simply pop this into the oven for 35 to 40 minutes at 375 degrees and it is going to be perfect. And that's how you cook your haters turkey a day before you actually need to serve it. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season and I hope that this takes just a little extra stress out of preparing dinner for your family. Till next time.